Market Market is generally understood to mean a particular place where buyers and sellers meet each other and buy and sell the commodities. In economics, by the term market, we do not mean any particular place. The idea of a particular locality or geographical place is not necessary to the concept of the market. What is required for the market what is required for the market to exist is the contact between the buyers and sellers. If they are in close communication with each other so that they can sell and buy a good on agreed price, the market would set to exist. If there is close and free communication between buyers and sellers, only one price should prevail for the same commodity at the same time. Prices in the market is determined by the forces of demand and supply. Equilibrium price is the price at which these forces are in balance. And at a given price, the same quantity is demanded and supplied. Different market forms. The determination of prices and outputs of various products depends upon the market form in which they are produced, sold and purchased. Economists have classified the various markets prevailing into 1. Perfect competition 2. Monopolistic competition 3. Oligopoly and four monopoly we have grouped monopolistic competition oligopoly and monopoly under imperfect competition since these three since these three forms of market differ with respect to the degree of imperfection in the market monopolistic competition is highly imperfect and monopoly is the most imperfect form of market structure. Oligopoly is a midway between monopoly and perfect competition. Perfect competition. There are a large number of firms. What do you mean by that? There are a large number of producers and sellers and buyers of a product. Products of all firms are homogeneous, identical. There is freedom of new firms to enter the industry and all ones to leave it. All firms and buyers have perfect information about the prevailing market price of the product. There are a large number of firms, producers and sellers, they produce homogeneous products. What about the demand curve? No individual firm is in a position to influence the price of the product. The demand curve is a horizontal line at the prevailing price of the product in the market. Perfectly elastic. The price elasticity of demand of a single firm will be infinite. The number of sellers is large. The output of one seller is only a small proportion of the total output of the commodity. The products of various sellers are homogeneous from the viewpoint of the consumers. There is no control over the price for an individual seller.
imperfect competition. Individual firms exercise control over the price to a smaller or larger degree. That is imperfect competition. Monopolistic competition, pure oligopoly, differentiated oligopoly. Monopolistic competition. A large number of firms. They produce somewhat different products which are close substitutes of each other. What about demand curve? It is difficult to construct demand curve of the industry. Each firm produces a differentiated product and sells it at a different price. Therefore, separate demand curves are constructed for individual firms. If a producer increases the price of his product, what will happen? If a producer increases the price of his product, some of his customers will stop buying his product and will shift to his rival firm who has not changed his price. If he lowers his price, he will attract new customers. Hence the firm has a downward sloping demand curve. What about price elasticity of demand? Price elasticity of demand for an individual firm is large. Why? A small increase or decrease in price can make a large decrease or increase in quantity demanded. His product is different from other products. Because of this product differentiation, he has some control over price. That is, even though there is a price change, some customers will continue to use his product. Pure oligopoly. Oligopoly without product differentiation. Few firms homogeneous product. This is oligopoly without product differentiation. There is competition among the few firms producing homogeneous or identical products. Demand curve will be downward sloping. The price elasticity of demand for each firm will be small. There are only few firms, hence each of them will have some control over the price of the product. Differentiated Oligopoly Oligopoly with product differentiation Few firms, they produce differentiated products which are close substitutes of each other. The demand curve is downward sloping. Price elasticity is small. The firms would have fairly large control over the price of their individual products. Monopoly Single producer or seller Producing or selling a product which has no close substitutes. What about the demand curve? Demand curve is downward sloping and has a steep slope. Price elasticity is very small. Sole control over supply of a product, the product has only remote substitutes, it has a very large control over the price of the product.
we have studied market classification now let us check whether you have learned it or not a comparative study about market classification which are the forms of market how you studied the different forms of the market which are they can you tell the number of firms in each market structure few firms a large number of firms one firm can you tell the number of firms what about the nature of the product what do you mean by that homogeneous product differentiated products class substitutes unique product what do you know about the slope of the demand curve in each market form horizontal relatively horizontal steep vertical can you identify what is price elasticity of demand for an individual firm under each of them infinite price elasticity is large small very small can you identify how much control over price in each market form no control some control large control very large control can you identify in each market form find your answers go through the sessions once again and verify whether you have learned or not market classification on the basis of cross elasticity cross elasticity of demand is the rate of change in quantity associated with a change in the price of related good ec is equal to proportionate change in the quantity demanded of product x divided by proportionate change in the price of product y in perfect competition the cross elasticity of demand for the product of a single firm with respect to a change in the price of the rest of the industry is infinite in monopolistic competition the cross elasticity of demand for the product of a single firm with respect to a change in the price of other products made in the monopolistic group is very high the cross elasticity of demand for the product of a monopoly is with respect to a fall in the price of the other products in the economy is very low can some economists use as the concept of cross elasticity of demand for classifying the market structure but many economists do not agree with this but many economists do not agree with this classification they argue that cross elasticity of demand and a perfect competition is zero and not infinity what is your opinion what is cross elasticity of demand under perfect competition answer a infinity answer b zero email your opinion e students india at gmail.com
remember. Different market forms are 1. Perfect competition 2. Monopolistic competition 3. Oligopoly 4. Monopoly